Snowed In for Christmas, which I also believe is called Christmas Au Pair in some places, is a 2021 Christmas film directed by Jason Bork, written by Starlet Hill and stars Kayla Wallace as Kaylee and Jeremy Gilbot as Ethan. And I apologise if I've mispronounced any of those names. And this is, well, as the other title suggests, about an au pair at Christmas. Kaylee has been looking after these little girls and their parents are away at a party um, a few days before Christmas. It's not quite Christmas Eve, but it's getting there. And while they're away, Kaylee's looking after the children and their uncle Ethan arrives a day early. So in the house, it's just the children, Kaylee and uncle Ethan. And... Initially, the Kaylee and Ethan get off to not the best of starts, but it's not a horrendous start. It's quite a believable encounter. And it's all about their will-they-won't-they they relationship that seems to develop in the run-up to Christmas. There are, of course, various problems along the way. Interestingly, not so much with their relationship, but with their parents' ability to get back in time. It seems like there's a storm coming. Will they be able to fly back in time for Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? And there are various other little things within the narrative to keep things interesting. But mostly it's just about Kaylee and Ethan giving the girls this amazing few days before Christmas. And that means that they do a lot of Christmas things. They build snowmen. People are going Christmas shopping. They're decorating the house. It's very, very festive. If you're looking for a film that will get you into the Christmas mood, this is one that will absolutely do that. Christmas songs everywhere. A lot of red and green outfits which definitely helped to make things feel very festive. And there was one tiny occasion of a character overreacting. A lot of Christmas rom-coms, at, le at least, you know, of the last decade, often will have a character who will completely overreact to a situation. They will blow things out of proportion. This usually happens in the third act as we head towards what we think is a romantic conclusion and then something throws a spanner in the works and one of the characters goes in a mood. Obviously, this has something like that, but the overreaction was actually so small that it didn't bother me. And obviously, I won't say what happens to make this happen or what events bring this about, but generally, I actually found the characters' actions to be believable and quite realistic. The narrative develops really well, and even though actually it's not the most problematic by which I mean the characters don't encounter that many problems it's actually really engaging because it's so festive and because it moves from one Christmas activity to the next I found it to be really jolly and delightful and not completely predictable either there are times when it's predictable but there were some times when I wasn't entirely sure what would happen next and I really liked it Kaylee and Ethan are both really likable protagonists Often, again, with Christmas rom-coms of this decade, there will be one character of the romantic leads who I don't like or who I find irritating. Not the case here. This ticks all of the boxes. Visually, it's stunning. The narrative's exciting. It's very, very festive. Nobody really overreacts to anything, so I never got annoyed by anybody's behaviours. I had a lot of fun with this. This is one of the best... Well, one of the best Christmas films I've seen this year. I don't know how I'd rank it of all time. But if you're looking for a fun, very festive, uplifting and enjoyable Christmas film, I would say Snowed In for Christmas is definitely worth checking out. I watched it on Paramount, on Amazon Prime. That's where it is in the UK at least. And I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed pretty much every second of it. Very pleased to have watched it. Definitely recommend it.